Hi there, welcome to this tutorial. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video and share it with your friends before we begin. Also, if you need help with any particular topic, do mention in the comment section. I will try to make a video for that particular topic so that it can help you. Today we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 2 Extended Variant 2 to October-November 2018. Let's start. Question number 1. Write 23,000 in standard form. When we are writing in a standard form, we need to have only one number before the decimal. So 2.3. We don't write the zeros. Multiply by 10. How many more digits we have? 4. So we will raise the 10 to the power of 4. The next question. We have been given two chords, AB and DE, and they are equal to each other. And M is the midpoint of AB and N is the midpoint of DE. OM is 5 cm and we need to find ON. Because the chords are of equal length, the perpendicular bisector of AB will be the same length as the perpendicular bisector of DE. Therefore, OM is equal to ON and ON will be 5 cm. Question number 3. Calculate 0 0.125 to the power of negative 2 over 3. We just have to put in the calculator and you will get the answer as 4. The next question, we have to expand the bracket. We are going to multiply 2x by 3. That will give us 6x. And then 2x multiplied by negative x squared. So we'll get negative 2x to the power of 3. When we multiply variables that have exponents, we add the powers. Next question. Without using a calculator, work out 1 over 15 plus 2 over 5. And we have to show all the working. So 1 over 15 plus 2 over 5. Whenever you have a fraction, addition or subtraction, the first thing you must do is make the denominators same. We know that 5 times 3 is 15. So we multiply it in the denominator by 3. Therefore, we have to multiply the numerator also by 3. This gives us the same denominator. As we have the same denominator, we can write it as a single fraction now. 1 plus 2 multiplied by 3, 6. So the answer is 7 over 15. Question number 6 is an inequality question. We have to bring the numbers on one side and find m. So negative 2 when we bring to the other side will be positive. Therefore, 7m is greater than or equal to 19 plus 2. 7m is greater than or equal to 21. This is a multiply when we bring to the other side, it will be divide. Therefore, m is greater than or equal to 21 divided by 7. That gives us m is greater than or equal to 3. Question number 7. We have been given two sets, set C and set D. The elements of set D are 5 and 10. And for set C, x is such that x is an integer and 5 is less than x and x is less than 12. So what are the elements in set C? We have from 6 till 11. We cannot take 5 and 12 as there is no equal sign here. Part A, put a ring around the correct statement from the list below. D is an empty st uh, set. This sign means empty. D is not an empty set. C, intersection D is 10. Intersection means it is also a part of set C and a part of set D. So yes, set C has 10 and set D also has 10. So this is your answer. Next part B, find the number of elements in C union D. C union D means you combine the elements of C and the elements of D. But which are common, you are not going to count it as two times. So how many elements we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
7 and 8. But we cannot count 10 because we have already counted 10. Therefore, the number of elements in C union D is 7. Sorry about that. 7. Question number 8. Four terms have been given to us and we have to factorize. So we will break it into two parts. You can see that y is common here. We remove the y out. What are we left with? x plus 5. Whenever you are factorizing four terms, you should remember, if you have in a, the bracket x plus 5 here, you are going to have in the bracket x plus 5 here. So what number shall come here out? You have 2 and 10. We know that 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 and 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. So what is common? 2. That is the number that we will bring out. And now when we are going to write it as factors, the terms that we wrote 2 times x plus 5 and x plus 5, we will write it as 1. And whatever was out, y plus 2. That is the second factor. Question number 9. There are 30,000 lions in Africa and the number of lions have decreased exponentially by 2% each year. Find the number of lions in Africa after 6 years and give your answers to the nearest 100. There is a formula that we use when the word exponential comes and that is p which is your initial value bracket 1 minus r which is your rate 100 bracket close n n is the number of years if you had increased we will have a plus here instead of a negative so just let's write down what we have our p principle is 30000 the rate of interest is 2 percentage and n number of years is 6. Now we'll just plug in the values we have. 30,000, 1 minus 2 over 100 to the power of 6. And this will give us 26,575. But we have to round it to the nearest 100, which is 5. We look at the number after 5. If you have 5 or more, we add 1. So 26600 is the answer. Question number 10. Find the midpoint of AB where A is equal to WR and B is equal to 3WT. Give your answer in its simplest form in terms of WR and T. To find the midpoint, we use the formula X1 plus X2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So this is x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. w plus 3w divided by 2 and r plus t divided by 2. We'll have 4w divided by 2. And the final answer is 2w r plus t over 2. So this is your x and that is your y. Question number 11. An equilateral triangle has side length 12 cm correct to the nearest centimeter. Find the lower bound and upper bound of the perimeter of the triangle. Whenever you are doing upper bound or uh, lower bound question, whatever is your nearest we have nearest centimeter, one centimeter. So divide it by two. What do you get? 0 0.5. To find the upper bound, add 0 0.5. To find the lower bound, subtract 0 0.5. So upper bound of 12 centimeter is 12 plus 0 0.5 will give us 12.5. And lower bound is 12 minus 0 0.5, which is 11.5. Perimeter of the triangle. The triangle has three sides and it's equilateral. So all the sides are going to be equal. The perimeter of the upper bound is going to be 
12.5 plus 12.5 plus 12.5 that will give us 37.5 and the perimeter of lower bound will be 11.5 plus 11.5 plus 11.5 which will give us 34.5 so lower bound is 34.5 and upper bound is 37.5 question number 12 x degree is an obtuse angle and sin x degree is equal to 0 0.43. Find the value of x. To find the value of x, the first thing we'll do is write sin inverse 0 0.43. Uh, press the shift sign button in the calculator and this is what you will get. 25. 4, 6. When we round it, we will have 25.5. But we want the obtuse angle. Therefore, whenever there is a sign and you want the obtuse angle, you have to subtract the acute angle from 180. 180 minus 25.5 will give you 154.5 degrees. So this is a rule that you need to remember. Okay? Question number 13 is a sequence question. Five terms are given to us and we need to find an expression for the nth term of this sequence. First check out the difference between each term. To find the difference, we subtract the second from the second term the first term. So 2 minus minus 4 is 6. So let's see if it works. Yes. Every time when we add 6, we get the new number. We can use the formula a plus n minus 1d, where a is your first term, and d is your difference, which we found is 6. Expand the bracket. 6 multiplied by n, 6n, and negative 1 multiplied by 6 is negative 6. So what are we left with when we simplify this expression? 6n minus 10. This is by using the formula and if we are going to solve it directly, there's another way to do it, which is quite easy in fact. We found the difference as 6, correct? So we write 6n. And then from the first term, we subtract the difference. So negative 6 minus 6 is negative 10. This is an easier way to do it, but both the ways will be accepted. Question number 14. So this is an inequality question. By shading the unwanted regions of the grid, find and label the region that satisfies the following four inequalities. X is less than or equal to 3. So this is the line 3 and X is less than or equal to 3. So this part is the wanted. The unwanted is this part here because here X is more than 3. Next, we have x is more than or equal to 2. So more than or equal to 2 is the right side of 2. So we'll shade the other part here. This is the less part we will shade. We have to, we have to shade the opposite of what has been given to us. Next one, y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. We have already used two lines. Now two lines are remaining. 4 and 4 and this one. Here you have y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. If on the y-axis you know x is 0. If you substitute x with 0, you will get 1. So this tells us this line is y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. Now how do you choose whether it is above the line or under the line? Let's write down the equation y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. Choose a point from any side. I'm going to choose uh, this point here. When x is 2, y is 3. And replace it here. And check whether, uh, uh, sorry, when x is 2, y is 3. So 5. 3 is less than 5, correct? So this region 
which we took the point from is the wanted region. So the above part is the not wanted. This is the not wanted part. Okay. Now the other line we have is y is more than or equal to 4 minus x. We'll use the same point when x is y, sorry, when y is 3, x is 2. And is the inequality true? Yes, 3 is more than or equal to 2. So the unwanted region is this part and the wanted is this part in the middle, that is your R. Question number 15 is a matrix question. Matrix is not a part of your syllabus from this year onwards. But let's still solve it. Find 3M. We just have to multiply all the elements in the bracket with 3. So 3 times 5 will give us 15. 3 times negative 3, negative 9. 3 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 3. And 3 multiplied by 2, 6. Next, find M to the power of negative 1. This means find the inverse of M. To find the inverse, we use this rule. First, we have to find the determinant and put it over 1. Determinant can be found by cross multiplying. So 5 multiplied by 2 minus negative 1 multiplied by negative 3. Then in the bracket, we interchange the positions. A will be replaced by D and D with A and the signs of B and C will be changed. So the determinant is going to be 5 multiplied by 2 minus negative 1 multiplied by negative 3. And in the bracket, we interchange the place of 2 and 5 and change the signs of 1 and 3. We'll get 1 over 7, 2, 3, 1, 5. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. For question number 16 onwards, please watch part 2. Thank you for watching.